I'd say good afternoon. Uh, my name is Aaron Englander, and uh, I've spent a lot of time here in Oberlin, both as a student studying biology and botany, and then also as an intern and then assistant manager and manager of the George Jones Memorial Farm just a mile and a half down the road. So I had uh, a good run, about five or six years there learning farming. On April 9th and 10th, it's a Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to be teaching the theories and techniques of Korean natural farming at the George Jones Memorial Farm in Oberlin, Ohio. And it's going to be a great workshop. It's two days. Each day is uh, 9 to 12 and 1 to 4. And you don't have to come to both days. You can just do one if that works for you. Um, and we're going to be covering a lot of stuff in this workshop and you will walk away learning how to create your own uh, beneficial microorganism mix, uh, IMO4, and you will learn how to create all these inputs, uh, fermented fish, amino acids, fermented plant juice, brown, uh, brown rice vinegar, and, or apple cider vinegar, and water-soluble calcium from eggshells learning all these different inputs and how to utilize them in your garden and, and grow plants that will produce more with greater quality and it will cost you less. And uh, You can do it with, in the community, with your friends, with your family, and it's a, it's a really nice community building uh, <clears throat> exercise as well because you can share resources and uh, pool together inputs and, and it's, it make larger batches together and then, and then share them. Um, and it's similar to compost too, you know, some people say, well isn't this, what's the difference? Isn't it just the same as composting? Well it's the same concept as composting, but this is culturing the indigenous native microorganism populations at a much higher concentration than you would ever get in a, a typical compost pile. But the, the, the fun thing is to combine the two. So you make your batch of IMO4 and then you put some scoops in the compost, you put some in with the worm vermiculture, you know, and you, you utilize all these systems together, a little bit of everything together. It's, it's a way of farming in harmony with nature and revitalizing damaged or unbalanced soils, which we see a lot today, both in urban settings and also suburban and rural settings where there's been contamination issues or past pesticide and herbicide use. The utilizing and culturing the microorganisms is a really good way to overcome those imbalances and contamination issues. So I think it'll be, a, be an inspiring workshop and, and a great way for the Northeast Ohio, Cleveland area to um, learn a, a method of farming that is, is being utilized all over the world.